Hello, everybody. It's Lawrence Little, better known as the Wet Shaving Barber. And on this beautiful day in January, 80 some degrees in January, I must be in Florida. That's right. In this video, though, we want to get a chance to introduce a new segment on the channel, and it's called The Post. Now, this is going to be a collection of comments from YouTube videos, from Facebook group posts, and so forth. And the bottom line is to really get the discussion going to help inform newbies as far as different tips, tricks, and various issues involved in wet shaving or, again, making a switch to shaving with a razor. Now, this first episode is going to be a doozy. In the first episode, we're going to talk about the controversial subject on how many shaving soaps do I really need and what is the true cost of shaving with a razor. How do I avoid going down that rabbit hole and spending too much money and following the so-called leaders? Let's check out the episode. Now, this initial topic was posted in the shave group, The Big Shave, and that's the Facebook group, The Big Shave, under the topic heading, The Cost of Shaving. And Casey Jones wrote, I read people's arguments about making the switch to wet shaving. I see and hear about it costing less, being more efficient. Psst. I spend thousands a year on wet shaving. I think drugs would be a cheaper addiction. But don't give me that garbage that it costs less, entry level, and not really enthusiastic? <laughs> Surely. Why not? <laughs> but what sick, twisted, and demonic person switches to wet shaving and truly spends $10 a year on shaving? Get real, folks. <laughs> now, that's Casey's take on the wet shaving expenses that he incurs every year. However, Dan follows it up by saying, I look at my shaves as my spa time. I hated shaving for most of my life, but I had no choice due to a career decision. Now I concentrate on making my shave the most enjoyable time. It's my alone time. And yeah, I've spent a fortune, but to me, it's worth it. Lewis, on the other hand, has to say this. Most wet shavers buy stuff every day, and at least half of that stuff, and blades, creams, razors, etc., they only use once or maybe twice, and then they set it aside forever, pretty much. This hobby doesn't waste money if you buy products you will actually use. Also, there's no need to buy an $80 to $150 brushes and creams and stuff like that when you can get the most popular and classic stuff for less than $20. And he's talking about uh, Omega brushes, uh, Taylor Road, Bond Street, uh, shaving soaps and creams, as well as Barrister and Man. Most people spend their money on this hobby as if they're millionaires, which I assume many of them aren't. Told you this was going to get controversial. And Kevin follows that up by saying, This is a hobby pure and simple. If we were in it to save money, we would all have wishy razors with the cheapest blade we could find. And don't forget the barbersaw. Again, the opinions are flying. Bob follows it up by saying, I spend less than five bucks a year on double-edged blades for my Gillette. Really? How do you do that? I'm trying to think what razor out there is five dollars a year. Even if you bought a hundred pack of... Oh, oh, well, he finds a way to do it. David says about Bob's comment, Bob, well said. 
Anyone else shaving? Uh, anyone else saving money? Anyone? Anyone? <laughs> now, Burke follows it up by saying, I'm on my way out of the rabbit hole, and it cost me a lot falling down it. I now have a modest razor collection to pass on to my son. I've found what works best for me, and I will stop the careless spending trying everything that comes out. It will take me a decade to break even on what I bought in three years. So in 10 years, I'll be saving money. So to cartridge razors out there, suck it. <laughs> so he's glad he's made the change, but he recognizes he went down that rabbit hole and spent a lot of money unnecessarily. Now let's, let's see what Brad Maggard of Maggard Razors has to say. As a large retailer in this market, I can assure you that our average customer isn't part of Facebook groups or forums. They are casual users that switched at some point. We have many 100-pack blade, uh, say, uh, people who buy maybe two tubes of Parasol-type customers every 18 to 24 months. And that's all they order. So spoken from a retailer, a provider of great products. Now, Travis says, I've never spent more on, says, I've never spent more on wet shaving than I did on cartridges as well as other shaving goo and gels. Last year, I didn't spend anything. It really, okay. It's really easy to save money once you've found good products and your den is stocked and you learn to stop chasing that rabbit hole, okay? So the, um, I like the word he's using here, the unobtainium. Now that's a new word, the unobtainium. Heard first. Okay, now Jan says here, I did it for almost 10 years. Once I got my first razor, and brush. The only things I needed were blades and soap. So it is cheaper on the utilitarian level. In the world are you guys getting these words when you're talking about wet shaving? But okay, that's his comment. That's how he feels. Paul rounds things up by saying, very true. It can be cheaper, but rarely is it. Wet shaving is a real rabbit hole. Well, what do you think? Uh, how much are you spending? Why are you spending? I know when I first started and I saw different videos and different ones and joined different groups and uh, everybody's doing their shave of the day and they're coming out with this, this is good and you use it with that and so forth and so on. I found myself looking at the different videos, looking at different ones with the shaves of the day and different things that they were using. My goal initially looking at wet shaving was to provide great products for my clients. Um, Razor Rock Triple X, as a matter of fact, was the first uh, full four ounce uh, shaving soap that I bought because it's got a great classic Italian barber scent. Thanks, Nick Shaves. But uh, after that, I then started getting into wet shaving personally and got away from electric razors and the drama that involved in that. And I tell you, you can get overwhelmed, but you also can find yourself trying to keep up with the Joneses, so to speak, of the so-called uh, shave master generals who will come out with all kinds of opinions. And essentially, it is a hobby, but for them, it's a way of life. And the thing you have to recognize is, look, if that's how they want to live their life, if that's how they want to spend their money, that's on them. But the problem that I have is when you try to make it look like others who don't do that are inferior to you. Really? I mean, we're talking about shaving. You either need to get a life or you got a life and it ain't a good life. But again, let, let's talk about this. How much are you spending every year on shaving products? whether it's soaps, razors, uh, you know, why do you have the razors that you do in your uh, shaving den? How often do you use them? And if you are 
trying out new shaving soaps. Uh, I've noticed that many people look down upon those that use shaving soap samples. Um, I'm sorry. I will never be somebody who, when you look at my shave, then will have over 200 and some odd shaves, soaps, or creams. And I'm talking about the full three to four ounce or more. No, that ain't going to be me. Because I got other things to do with my money, my time, and my life. But if that's you, that's you. But don't make others, especially newbies, feel that they've got to go down that rabbit hole with you and that if they don't, they're inferior. So let's talk about this. How did you get started with wet shaving? What made you buy the razors that you, you buy? Why do you purchase some of the things that you do? Are you purchasing full, say, pucks, four ounce, three ounce, or whatever? Or are you buying shaving soap samples um, and, and, and things of that nature? Uh, again, the discussion here is to help newbies understand the true cost of wet shaving. And you got to remember, they're just trying to look to get a good shave. Will it ever become a hobby for them? I don't know. It might. But we want to try to help as many people as possible convert to wet shaving and help them see that this classic form of shaving really is the one of the best ways to shave uh, again and groom their, their skin as opposed to clippers and those multi uh, razor cartridges and uh, the debilitaries like magic shave and stuff like that. So, what do you think? What's your opinion? This is Lawrence Little with the. <laughs> this is Lawrence Little, the wet shaving barber, with the video series Shaving the Way Your Father Should Have Taught You, with the first episode of the new segment called The Post. You three. I really hope that you enjoyed the video that you've just seen. And if you did, or if you feel that you're learning from the content that I'm providing on this channel, please help support the channel by clicking on the subscribe button, as well as the notification bell, so that you can get updated as soon as new video content comes out. I'm doing this for free, and the reason why I'm doing this is because I know that, like myself, there are many out there who believe the hype that you can't shave with a razor without getting razor bumps. Well, this channel is dedicated to helping you realize that wet shaving or shaving with a razor is a great reality and could be the best way for you. However, you have to learn the process, you have to learn the techniques, and you have to learn the proper tools to use first. Thank you again for supporting my channel.